Just imagine a rustic farm on the slopes of the Tuscan Marema. Well, that's where we'll find Marco Bassetti, a uh, businessman who came from the world of telecommunications, but he had a passion for food and wine, and he envisioned a place where you could make one of the great wines of Tuscany. And he provided a lot of his uh, technical knowledge and skills, and he brought together a team of agronomists and enologists who could create just that wine, and we find that at La Corza. Welcome so much uh, to Ven Italy 2012 and the great wine you're presenting. Tell us about this. Uh, now, these are all the Sangiovese grapes done in an historic style, but you've provided some new twists in terms of uh, ideas and technology. Yeah, well, uh, more than technology was an old technology on my side because they, the ground where uh, I, I there are my vineyard was the ground where the Romans, 2,200 years ago, they started to produce wine. It was a very famous wine there because this part of uh, uh, the Tuscany, South Tuscany, is quite close to Rome. Okay, there was also a nice harbor there, and they used to tr they used to ship the wine into Rome and also to French, because from there you can go to Elba, the island Elba, then Corsica, and then south to French. And you know that the Roman they bring the wine to, to the French, and then the French they you know the Bourgogne, the Bordelais, you know, it was the first the first vineyard there was uh, was uh, seed by the Romans. And Time. So I found out in my in my ground uh, a villa where they produce wine. Okay, and and if you can visit us, you can still see how they produce wine at the old time. You know, so that's my technology. Wow! Because I discovered this, I asked to they say to 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 go deep on the ground and see if it was true that it was a good uh, how you say hummus uh, ground in order to build uh, to grow up wine. And the analysis say that it was an excellent, an excellent, uh, let's say, mix of uh, ground, terroir, you know. Mm -hmm. So that's my reason. So my technology is quite old technology, I should say. Wow. <laughs> it's not a new, really new one. <laughs> and then, you know, we produce wine not like the Roman did in the past, you know, because now the technology is totally different. Uh, but the, the main reason, the main purpose of my wine is because that was ground chosen by the Romans at this time, you know. Now tell us about the wines that we're having. They're 100% Sangiovese, and uh, you yeah, do we, some other wines as well. Yeah, we do. We do three types of wine. One is 100% Sangiovese, and uh, and this is is stay in the wood for uh, one year, one year and a half. Okay, and this is our Reserva in Mandrione. Then we have another type of wine. It's a mix between Petit Dardo, Teraldego, that's an Italian wine art, and Sangiovese. And this name is, uh, the name of this uh, type of wine is Aguilaro. And then we have a white one, uh, with, uh, and the grape is Vermentino, that is called Due Luglio, 2 July. That is the day of uh, birth of my mother. <laughs> Oh, fabulous. Marco Bassetti, who is the owner of La Corsa Wines in the beautiful hills of the Tuscan Marema, and he's bringing some beautiful wines that have a bit of history, but also a bit of modernity about them. So thanks for joining us here at Vin Italy 2012, where we have more.